Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel and today is a very special one. Uh, we are celebrating 1000 subscribers. Um, first of all, thank you very much uh, for all the support. Um, I can't uh, thank you enough and uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, before we really dive into the celebration, I want to share insights from the journey from 0 to 1000 subscribers um, and discuss um, you know, common challenges that many creators face. One of the common challenges um, YouTube creators face is discoverability and visibility. When you start from scratch, getting noticed can be a real struggle. You are not going to get a lot of engagement. You are not going to get a lot of interaction. Um, you are not going to get a lot of visibility unless you create, you know, unless your video goes viral. And that doesn't happen often, right? So it's really like trying to stand out in a crowded room, right? Um, so the number one challenge that uh, you will face is uh, discoverability and visibility. The second challenge is really consistent content production, right? Um, consistency is the key, uh, but it's also one of the toughest challenges, right? Balancing content creation with other responsibilities require dedication and careful planning right and um, you also you know you'll also run out of ideas and you kind of takes a long to brainstorm on the content planning and content strategy and all of that um, the third one really is the engagement and interaction right and um, in the beginning obviously you are not going to get a lot of um, interaction or engagement um, your friends, family, and colleagues uh, will, uh, you know, provide that support for you to keep going and all that. Um, the fourth cha challenge is really about the monetization, right? And uh, monetization is not easy on YouTube for a beginner because um, it takes 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watching, watching hours uh, for you to enable YouTube Partner Program. But however, you can... Uh, you know, sell course content or you can sell uh, merchandise or, you know, you can acquire clients through consulting. So those are some of the uh, ways. And then the, you know, the fifth and the last one on this list is uh, adapting to the changing algorithm uh, on YouTube, right? Uh, so let's, uh, now that I have kind of, uh, you know, listed out the, top five challenges on youtube let's shift gears and talk about my journey and how these challenges played out right and um, for me it was always about marketing right from day one i have uh, kept the content focused on marketing it's it's um, you know when i started i had already self-published my first book influencer marketing with webinars so i had a lot of content and i uh, it helped me to take those nuggets, you know, from the book and then create video on that. Um, and then, um, you know, it continued when I self-published my second book, which is Winning the Battle of B2B Demand Generation. Um, that kind of helped and all that. And then we created a series of marketing fallacy because you see so many uh, inaccurate ideas um, in the marketing among the marketing professionals you know one of my favorite is how business leaders and ceos uh, you know put a dollar in and expect a lead out like you know it's a vending machine uh, without kind of uh, really uh, strengthening the offer the value proposition the messaging and all of that and uh, well, you know there are some other fallacies that i discussed on the series like um how you know, marketers are obsessed with how the design of the landing page and, uh, you know, as if only the looks matter, right? Not so much on the uh, messaging value proposition and offer. The offer is not compelling at all. Right? Um, those are some of, and then we spoke about, you know, how it is wrong to measure uh, return on every touch point or every activity. And you have to really look at the um, overall uh, value ROI on the overall effort and all that. So um, I think uh, those were some of, uh, you know, uh, good content that I put out and I want to really debunk uh, myths in the marketing world 
And the marketing fallacy series was born out of that desire, you know, to provide you with actionable advice. Uh, and the response um, has been incredible. Um, I see a lot of engagement on LinkedIn and, you know, have seen some views on the marketing fallacy series and all. I think uh, recently we also created um, a SEO test, um, you know, for job seekers and uh, people who want to test their SEO knowledge. You know, we created a SEO test with over 200, 220 questions with 150 unique questions. And this kind of had good uh, response within the job seekers and people who wanted to test their, um, and that, that, that was the time when the, um subscriber count rapidly grew and all that uh, but out of all these content that we put out consistently over the last uh, one one and a half years and all that you know it also takes to promote right so i also did a um, few paid promotion um, to get a youtube channel in front of the right people uh, at the right time right and um, that's really the key and all that creating content is half the battle. The other half battle is really the promotion, right? So, um, you know, so again, um, so this is what I have for you today. I want to thank each one of you again, and um, it has been a um, great journey, and I would like to uh, continue. Uh, so hit the um, subscribe button, and then like, comment, share, and then uh, to get more content on marketing from me. Thank you once again, and I hope you find this helpful. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.